Welcome once again, Spazites, to another Transformers TCG video! This is Gizmo Spaz, and today we're going to go over some bots, some heads, and some stratagems. Uh, I don't, I haven't actually opened any packs. Um, a friend of mine who I play cards with had a whole bunch of duplicates. He and his son got two uh, booster boxes, and uh, they just gave me their duplicates so yay let's check out what we got so far uh first we'll uh go into the stratagems just to get them out of the way and then we'll focus on the bots which are you know the coolest part of this whole game so we have here aerial enhancements this is a stratagem specifically for tracks it says when your tracks autobot warrior is in alt mode he has the plane trait which is pretty cool play up to one stratagem with the named character stratagems begin on the battlefield and this is one star so this does take up one star of your 25 star deck count next is a me grimlock oh and then each stratagem on the back has unique artwork on it which is really cool there's obviously autobot tracks and he's got his uh wings deployed in the back you can see his whales around the side and there is kind of a a wing going out from under it anyway me grimlock you grimlock this one is simply clobber stratagem while your clobber is in head mode the character he's on has the dinobot trait so this is specifically for the clobber headmaster which I'm not sure if I have. We will find out. <clears throat> and then here is the uh, the back is just the, the clobber headmaster in head mode. And we have resilience, the brawn, demolitions. Uh, when your brawn demolitions defends, he gets plus defense until end of battle equal to the attacker's bold total. Uh, play up to one strategy. And this is also one star. This is a common, and then here's a brawn on the back. Looks like just a duplicate of the artwork there. And then, uh, I don't think we have brawn for our characters. Let's see, here we have Revenge, Megatron Fallen Hero. Your Megatron Fallen Hero has bold based on how many damage counters he has. 1 to 5 is bold 1, to 6 to 10 is bold 2, 11 plus is bold 3. This one is actually worth 2 stars, so keep that in mind. And then there's Megatron with his, uh, his Headmaster for, uh, I believe, Clobber on it. So you get two stratagems for, for Megatron if you want to use him with his Headmaster Clobber, but it takes up three stars. Next is Science Officer. This one's for Beachcomber Geologist. Your deck can have up to one extra star of actions and up to one extra star of upgrades. So this, this is a really cool card because it gives you two extra stars. It does take one star away, so it really only gives you a total of 26. Um, well, I mean, it gives you it still gives you those two extra stars, but it still only brings your total up to 1 to 26 because this... Actually, no, I'm not sure, because if this stratagem's in your deck, then that's 25, so that would be 26, 27. Okay, so 25, 26, 27, never mind. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, and then here's our uh, beachcomber on the back. Uh, this one is for Night Racer Gunner. Uh, your deck can have up to two extra stars of secret actions. Cool. Back. And here we have System Enhancement, Autobot Outback Gunner. Uh, when your upgraded Outback, uh, Autobot Outback Gunner draws a card, draw a card, and then scrap a card from your hand. Okay, cool. Now let's check out our, uh, our headmasters and see who we have and see if we can tell whose head they belong to. Apex, I can already tell, I'm sorry, Titan Master, not Headmaster. Apex gives you stealth one, enemies, attacks, others, if able, this can't flip. So here he is, he gets stealth one, and that's obviously Optimus Prime's head. This begins in head mode, so stealth one for head mode. Uh, Autobot Stylor, I'm not sure who Stylor is. Uh, I'm still not sure whose head that normally is, but he gives you plus one defense. Then we got Chasm. And then there's the head as a Decepticon. 
That's all I know for sure. Then we got Doomshot. Doomshot is uh, brave. Enemies attack this character if able. Let's see. These guys do have their own unique star counts. So Doomshot is Megatron's Megatron's head. Flame out. Bold two. Flip two more battle cards when attacking. This can't flip. Uh, not sure, but it gives bold two. Yay. Uh, freeze out. Tough two. This is a rare card. And I'm not sure who freeze out belongs to. It's obviously a red. Gives you tough two. Kreb. Decepticon. Gives you plus two health. Uh, Mong... Mon... Mongzo. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it gives you plus one attack. And we got Parsec, an Autobot. Uh, looks like a female character. And then here we have Vorath. Vorath gives you tough one. Okay, now let's get down to the real reason we're here. to The, uh, the full-on big auto uh, cards. First, we start out with Gears. He is a common. Can I zoom out? Yes, I can. Gears is a common. When you flip to this mode, return an upgrade and on an enemy to its owner's hand. And then when you flip to this mode, move an upgrade from an enemy to another enemy. Hmm, cool. So it's a little bit of uh, table controlling. Uh, I'll put these down here. Okay, now we have Autobot Outback. And I do have Outback for... Uh, I have his stratagem, which is pretty cool. Uh, if an opponent's card would cause an upgrade to be scrapped from this, instead you may scrap an upgrade of the same type from your hand. And then his alt mode is when you flip to this mode, you may scrap an upgrade from your hand if you do draw two cards. Oh, cool. Not bad. Next we have Beachcomber, another one of the mini bots from Gen 1. Uh, let's see, uh, before flip, he just gives you focus one, and then his alt mode, when you flip to this mode, name a card, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's the named card, draw three cards. That's random. <laughs> Next, we have a new bludgeon. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if we had bludgeon yet. I know I've been playing a lot of uh, Transformers Earth Wars, and bludgeon keeps popping up in that game. When an enemy takes non-attack damage, it gets plus... Minus one until end of turn. A character's defense can't go below zero. And then his ult mode, do at least one damage when attacking, but not more than attack total. And then tough one, flip. So he gets pierce one and tough one. Flip one more battle card when defending. Nice. I like bludgeon. I like tanks. So I might have to add him to my tank. Now we have brainstorm. Brainstorm is he needs a head in order to operate. When this attacks and you flip at least one upgrade, you may put one... Of the upgrades you flipped into your hand after the battle. And then his alt mode is when you flip to this mode, look at the top card of your deck. If it's an upgrade, you may play it. And then this begins with a character on him in head mode. Cool. Okay, so you actually need a head mode character in order to do that. Here we have Brawn. Cool. I wasn't sure if I had Brawn, I think. Well, I have Brawn. Yay! When this defends against an enemy that has more stars than him and you flip battle cards, this gets plus one defense until the end of battle for each different color among battle icons you flipped. Cool. Alt mode, when this attacks an enemy that has more stars than him, uh, flip battle cards and get pierce one until end of battle for each different color. Oh, that's nifty. Okay, then we have Chrome Dome. Another Headmaster or Titan Master. When you flip to this mode, look at your opponent's hand and put an action from it into their KO area. That's pretty cool. Uh, when this attacks and your opponent has three or more actions in their KO area, this gets plus three until end of turn. This begins with a character on him in head mode. That's actually pretty good. I like Chrome Dome. Is he rare? No, he's just an uncommon. Next is Crankcase. Data Collector. When this attacks and you have five or more cards in hand, he gets plus three until end of battle. Cool, and we flip this mode, draw a card. Huh, nifty. Okay, we have another headmaster. We have Decepticon Quake. Cool. Uh, let's see. When this or another character is KO'd, do one damage to each other character. Not bad. 
And then uh, while this is while this is your only character on the battlefield, he has plus two attack. Cool. Okay, then we have Fangry. Uh, let's see. Well, this is defending against an enemy that has fewer stars than him. This has tough two. Nifty. And then uh, while this is attacking an enemy that has more stars than him, he has bold two. Flip two more battle cards. Nice. He is a rare card. Next we have Hori Bull. Hori Bull. When you play, uh, when you play a Black Pip card, do one damage to an enemy and one damage to this. Ooh, yikes. And then there he is. His alt mode, he's a beast. It says, when you flip to this mode, move one damage counter from this to an enemy. That's pretty cool. We have two beasts here. Yay, cool. Sky Tracker and Ground Trooper. And they have kind of the same color. I wonder if they're part of the same uh, subgroup. Then we have Megatron. So I've got Megatron, Megatron's head, and then both of the, uh, I've got both of the, uh, I always forget, stratagems for Megatron and his head. So that's pretty cool. This is, yeah, this is Megatron Fallen Hero. When you flip to this mode, this gets plus two attack until end of turn. Not bad. And he is worth 10, 11 stars. He has an uncommon card. It says, uh, when this defends and you flip at least orange, do one damage to the attacker after the battle. Okay. Next is Mind Wipe. Hypnotist. Cool. Uh, when this attacks and you flip at least a black pip, your opponent chooses a card from their hand and scraps it. If they can't, you draw a card. And then we have another Beast Mode. It says when you flip to this mode, choose a battle icon color. Then look at the opponent's hand and scrap a card from it that has a battle icon of that color. That's nifty. Next is Optimus Prime. So I have Optimus Prime and his head as well, which is pretty cool. Um, when this attacks, repair one damage from one of your characters. Then, if you have fewer characters on the battlefield than your opponent, repair one more damage from that character. That's pretty cool, and there is, uh, <laughs> that's, oh, uh, Apex Armor Optimus Prime, Power Master Optimus Prime with Apex Armor, or whatever. That's what it's based off of, anyway. When you flip to this mode, draw a card, then if you have fewer cards in hand than your opponent, draw another card. That's pretty cool. Let's see, he is also an uncommon card. Next is Sky Shadow Plane. Uh, bold 2, flip 2 more battle cards when attacking, and he is the bottom half of, I can't remember, but he gets bold 2, tough 2, and this is worth a total of 14 for him, but 5, 6, 7 there, so that means his alternate one is also 7. Then we have top spin. When this attacks and you flip at least a white pip, draw a card. And then there he is. When this defends, he gets tough until end of battle equal to his bold total. For example, if he has tough three when defending, flip three more battle cards. Cool, cool, cool. And then Twin Twist, Top Spin's buddy. I used to have either Top Spin or Twin Twist, the original ones. They were not Titan Masters or Headmasters when I was a kid. And he's one of the Wreckers. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Is he? He's a Wrecker as well. So Top Spin and Twin Twist are Wreckers. Uh, when you flip to this mode, your opponent chooses one of the characters and does one damage to it. If you flip this character at least two time, two times this turn, and said do one damage to each enemy. Nifty. And then there's his alt mode. He's got a, when you flip to this mode, uh, this gets pierce three until end of turn. Do at least three damage when attacking, but not more than attack total. Cool. Uh, we are almost done. Uh, wingspan. When an, upgrade, when an upgrade is scrapped from this, put it under him. And then uh, another beast with the purple and blue. I wonder if this is another uh, part of a group. When you flip to this mode, draw a card. This has plus one de defense for each card under him. And last but not least, we have Wolfwire, Ground Tracker. Uh, when this battles, instead of swapping a card from your hand with one of your flipped cards, after the battle, you may put one of those cards into your hand. And then there's his beast mode. When you flip to this mode, you may scrap a green pip card from your hand if you do draw two cards. Cool. And then last but not least, we have the special promo pack 
from this uh, wave, this final wave, unfortunately, we have the uh, Fortress Maximus promo pack. So I'm going to move these to the side, and we're going to go over the full Fortress Maximus, which is, which is not that big a deal. Let's see, we got Fort Max. We'll start everybody in their uh, underneath mode. Which I believe is this. Um, anyway, here's Fortress Maximus. When this defends and you flip at least... Oh, wait. I forgot. Okay. So this is how it's supposed to start. You start it off like this. You start it off all stacked up like this. So you've got uh, Focus 2, Bold 1, and Tough 1. Fortress Maximus. Of course, you can... I think you can flip switch out any headmaster for it. I don't think you can switch out any one of these for this, but I think if you really want you can focus switch that out. But focus 2 is pretty good. So anyway, Fortress Maximus has uh when this defends and you flip at least white and blue do one damage to the attacker. This begins with Cerebro City Commander on him in head mode. So there's Cerebro City Commander in head mode. <clears throat> so you flip Fortress Maximus, it says when this attacks and you flip at least orange and black, do two damage to each enemy, flip this to alt mode after the battle. So after you flip this, you just flip it right back, and then you get to defend with the white and blue again. So I was using a heavy orange and black deck, uh, basically a tweaked Insecticon deck that I took out the Insecticon specific attacking or Insecticon specific cards and replace them with a few other cards. And then I tweaked a couple of other little things. I think I put a couple more black pips in there just to, just for this to pop off more often. But anyway, after this gets knocked out, he does have a total of 15 health. When this gets knocked out, you put this big card in your your dead pile and then you've got this begins with Fortress Max's Great War Veteran in head mode. This begins the character on him in head mode. This can't flip. So when this gets passed out, this automatically flips. And then there he is. There's his head right there like that. So he's down to Focus 2, Cerebros. He gets Bold 1, Tough 1, and Focus 2. Flip one more battle card when attacking or defending. When this battles and you flip at least... White, orange, black, and blue. You may play an upgrade from your scrap pile onto this. And then when he passes out, you also get to transform him. And Emissary gets Focus 2. Before flipping battle cards when battling, look at the top two cards of your deck. You may scrap any number of them. Put the rest back in any order. This can't flip. And that is everything for Transformers... Uh, wave four, I guess. Wave four? Wave five? One, two, three, four. I think this was the final. This is wave five, I think. Anyway, yeah, this is it. It might say on here somewhere. Yeah, wave five. So that's it for Transformers Wave 5. So far, I do plan on getting a booster box of this eventually. Since it's been canceled, I expect the prices to drop considerably. Not necessarily on this one, but for the earlier ones, which I've still never opened a wave, a booster box of Wave 3 or 4. This video has been really long, though, so I'm going to let you go for now. If you sat through this whole thing, I really appreciate it. Till next time. Oh yeah, I forgot. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below if this is your first video and you liked what I'm doing here. Uh, I do a lot of different stuff. Please uh, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, until next time, happy hunting. Be kind. Goodbye. Happy hunting. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Goodbye.